Taking two on the line, another face to face meeting with General Motors and the Canadian Union president representing auto workers is not successful. That president saying this afternoon corporate greed is more important than some 3,000 Canadian jobs. Jim Kurtzner is live in Windsor where the union president just finished a news conference. And Jim, this has been a very big campaign for them. Is it over? Uh, not just yet, but there's a lot of anger and disappointment here. This is that campaign. Save Oshawa GM. National Union President says not only will this continue, but it'll be ramped up. By reconfirming their decision, has not only picked a fight, frankly, with Unifor, but they have picked a fight with all of Canada. When General Motors announced in November that five plants would close and 14,000 would lose their jobs, the hardest hit was Oshawa, Ontario, with 2,500 hourly jobs and 500 salary jobs on the line. Now the Canadian Union president says the GM plan is simply greed. That no auto worker in this country, or frankly in the United States, should feel comfortable. So this is General Motors saying to Canadian workers and American workers, Canadian and American consumers, that it's about profits, it's about Wall Street. Now, GM wants to ramp up production in Mexico. The uniform campaign includes this TV ad currently running here in Detroit with a clear message. GM's future is not in North America, but south of the border. As you have made strategic decisions, to move our products from Canada to Mexico, you certainly, certainly can reverse those decisions and bring a vehicle back to Canada. Now, General Motors in response says Unifor's presentation would have increased cost and make the company less competitive. Unifor will do the same thing the UAW is, and that's looking into litigation over the contract language. Unifor is not calling for a boycott of GM in Canada just yet because they still have thousands of other jobs, but they are planning a rally here in Windsor on Friday. Reporting live, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. And we'll see what happens to our neighbors in the north. All right, Jim, thank you.